Sorry for what you're about to watch. <laughs> and don't worry, I'm fine. It's allergies. Bad allergies. Everything's fine. <laughs> when two kittens, who were never supposed to meet, are thrown together in paradise, will it be destiny or disaster? Stay tuned to find out on today's Catchler in Paradise. After her release from quarantine, the ever-gorgeous and outgoing Tulip is on the hunt for love. I'm just tired of being alone. I've worked my tail off to get where I'm at, but it's so lonely at the top. I want a companion who really gets me and sees me for who I am. No more games. I just want a genuine connection. Quill, I've known Tulip all her life. You should have seen her in her younger days. Boy, was she rough looking. But just like her name, she blossomed into who she is today. I couldn't be more happy for her. So why hasn't Tulip found love yet? Well, she's been in quarantine. You ever heard of it? It's necessary, but oof, it can be a doozy. She also tends to go for the ones who are not available, if you know what I mean. The ones who are not as interested in her as she is in them. I keep trying to tell her, girl, you deserve the best. And you know what? She never listens to me. Everything in her life has been hard up until this point. And so she just treats companionship that way. She always has to make it hard on herself. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Bruno. Honestly, I'm not sure why I'm here. I think I took a wrong turn back there, but I was just a- Whoa! Whoa, that ghost almost got you. You're welcome. If I had to describe myself, I'm pretty goal-oriented. Last week, I finally caught the monster behind me. Turns out it's a tail and it's attached to my body. <laughs> that was quite the surprise. Why am I here again? Bruno? On a game show about love? I can honestly say I never saw this coming at all. Quite frankly, he rarely knows what's going on. And most of the time, he's working on his bunny or goat interpretive dance. He is convinced that he's gonna get on a Miyamakin idol. Watch out for him. Why hasn't Bruno found love yet? Why? Um, honestly, I think quite frankly because he's never looked. He lives with his mom in her spare room and calls it his bachelor studio. That can be a bit weird when trying to bring a friend home. I love the boy, but he is so oblivious to the world around him. Sometimes I genuinely am concerned for his safety. Just yesterday, he misjudged the distance between the floor and the first stair, and before you know it, he took one big leap of faith and landed flat on his stomach, right in front of the step. I will give him this. He does try. A lot.
out there, but I'm happy to report that Bruno and Tulip are the best of friends. They run around and play like crazy. They both needed that so badly. They're not gonna be able to share a living space until we get both of their fecals tested and we make sure that everyone's negative for anything because we are not taking chances. I've learned, I've grown, we're doing better. So they get to play together, but they don't get to hang out together. Only supervised visits for this protective mama. <laughs> I kid. Um, Bruno's already adopted. Tulip is already adopted. So they're just going to hang out here for a few weeks before they go to their forever home. Man. Um, I hope you like this nonsense. I had a lot of fun putting it together. <laughs> I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. And I will see you next week. Bye.